Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we saw how we can handle errors on our server. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and see how to delete a to-do from our database. So whenever a user clicks delete, we need to take them to a view where they can confirm that they want to delete and then we can go ahead and remove it. So first off, we need a view to handle that. Now we can go to our views. So we're gonna go to to-do, then views.py and create a view that will be handling the delete. So I'm gonna copy and paste this. So it's gonna be called, you can just say to do delete. It's gonna be taking in the ID we want to delete. We're going to be this, doing the same thing to try to first get it from a DB, then throw an error, a 404 if it, we don't find it. Then we're gonna be now sending it to to do delete.html. So let's go ahead and create this one. So we're gonna go to our templates and create to do delete.html. So over here, we need to, of course, inherit some things here. So I'm going to copy all this and then come here. So we're gonna be extending the base template for us to get like things like the style. So since we don't want to show any static files here, we can remove the static. Then we can say delete to do. It can be like a confirmation to delete to do. Then we want to, tell, to ask them if they are sure they want to delete. So before we do that, this is going to need to be in a form because whenever a user says yes, we're going to be making a post request. So let me clear out all this other stuff up to here. Then this is going to be a form. So since we're going to make a post request, then we can do action. So we are going to be basically submitting the same view we are at. So we can use URL. Then the view name is going to be to do delete. We need to create it. Then we need to be passing the ID since our view expects it. So that ID is going to be to do dot ID since we are since here we are passing the to do into the context. So down we should be able to say to do dot ID and access that ID. So let's first create the URL before we do anything else. We can just have the same. It's going to be delete to do delete. Then this can be to do delete then the name i guess this is what we used we'll check okay so so for the name we want to go here and make sure that's what we are sending and save so it looks like we missed to put huh. so if you come here the view is there and the server yes is now back up so here we need to complete up we need to ask them if they are sure they want to so this this should be ui form Anyways, so here we want to ask them, so we're gonna have a P. Are you sure you want to delete this to do? Then we will give them two buttons, yes or no. But since this, since we are in a form here, we want to have our token, our cross-site request forgery token added. So we can do CSRF token in there. And now down here, we can have an input. It's gonna be type submit. So the value, we can say yes for the user to confirm. And also let's give this one a class so it looks better. So we can say UI button. We want it to be red, so we can say negative. So here, let's also have a cancel button. So here we can say cancel. It's actually gonna be an A. Then we'll have an href. So href will just go to, to the detail. So for the href, we want to be going to the detail if the user decides to cancel. So here we can say URL, then we are going to to do, remember it's called to do. Then let's go back with our ID, so to do, put ID like this. If we come back over here and refresh, you see that when we click this, nothing is happening. That's because we are not redirecting to our URL. So we can go to our to do, to do detail. And here where we have the delete, we can add an href. For the href, we want to be going to the URL with the name to, I believe we called it delete, not sure. Then we want to pass the ID. So the ID here will be to do dot ID to. Let's cross check to make sure the URL is the same. To do delete, looks good to me. So let's reload, click delete. And we are brought here where we asked if we want, to, if we are sure we want to delete it. So if we said cancel, you see we are brought back. But if we said yes, you see that nothing is happening. That's because we need to handle the post request from this form. Okay, so here we have the form, we have the action. We need to specify the, the method because by default it's gonna be doing a get. 
which we don't want to do so specify a post there now we can go to our views and here before we render so this is going to be running whenever we are doing a get request so check if the user is posting to this view you can check request with method then if that's the case then of course they will have confirmed and we already have the to do actually so what we want to do now is we want to do to do dot delete so when we do to do dot delete we want to redirect to the to the list of to do's so we can say return http response redirect http response redirect then we're going, we're going to be going home so we can say reverse here then we pass home all right so now if we come here and refresh and click yes you see we come here so notice that the count is seven so if we went back again and deleted this most of now the count is six meaning it was removed so we need a way to show like the message like it was removed those 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 alerts but we're going to be looking at that in the future videos so now we are able to come over here confirm that we want to delete and it's removed over here so that's gonna do it for now if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon